Hello and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. I'm Andy Andrews and I'm a software consultant for the BMC Mainframe Batch Products. In this demo I will show you how to manage job and UCF policies within Mainview Batch Optimizer or MVBO. The job policy member contains the definitions that control which jobs will be managed by the job optimizer and what actions it is allowed to take. The UCF policy provides an additional level of control over the job optimizer. The job optimizer control definitions exist in the job policy member. Typically, this member is named job POL00. Within the ISPF interface, select the job POL00 member by placing an E beside it and pressing enter. Once inside the job policy, you will notice a number of entries. In this example, we are looking at an existing entry that has a selection criteria that will select a job whenever the second position of the job account field is set to MVBO. This is a useful technique for test cases where you want to run with and without the job optimizer but don't want to change the job policy each time. If you have a question about the settings, you can toggle the View pull-down menu to see default values or valid settings. You can specify these options for the action field. Specify Analyze to intercept a batch job and store history information. If you specify Split, MVBO will complete the initial analyze task and then will use the history information to dynamically split job steps to execute in parallel. If piping is applicable, a pipe will be built. If you need to insert BSL control statements or overrides in a job, specify read JTL. If you want to exclude a job or job steps from optimization, specify bypass. To view and change the job policy global options, choose the options pull down menu. Now let's look at the actions you can take. When you specify Analyze, the job is intercepted only to capture history. History records are written to the registset and will be used for dynamic job splitting if splitting is enabled. Here is an example of the history report. Specify split to split job steps for parallel processing. Steps will be split only if all of these conditions are met. Adequate job history has been captured. The job slash step structure must remain constant. Adequate systems resources are available. And all structural constraints have been relieved, such as the step is not involved with condition codes or it can't split because it would establish a pipe that goes into an update step. Once the job is running, the job history is analyzed, split eligible steps are scheduled to run in parallel, the step level pipes are established as needed. Here are some screenshots of jobs running in parallel. Notice that the initiator class changes to the right bracket for job steps that are actively being split. JTL statements are JCL comments that are used by MainView Batch Optimizer to override the automatic split decisions and dictate specific actions to be taken by the product. Read JTL causes MVBO to search for the JTL statements in the JCL. An action of Read JTL implies split. You can see some examples of JTL here. You can exclude a job or job step from optimization by specifying bypass. To bypass optimization for an entire job, specify bypass in the job policy. To bypass optimization for one or more steps within a job, specify bypass in the JCL as a JTL statement. Once a job has been selected by the job optimizer, the user control facility, or UCF, provides additional options to control how to handle specific DD names, devices, events, and programs. These actions are set in the UCF policy. 
Within the UCF policy, you can specify how the job optimizer will process a job if it locates a particular DD name. To execute steps containing this DD name on a specific ZOS image, specify target. To split steps containing this DD, regardless of other constraints, specify split. To prevent splitting any job steps that contain this DD name, specify bypass. To bypass optimization on any jobs that contain this DD name, specify job bypass. Other actions are available and you can see those in the documentation. You can tell the job optimizer what action to take when a specific device is encountered. You can bypass or target a device. When you target a device, you can direct a job or job step to a specific ZOS image. Valid device types are disk, tape, and VIO. Main View Batch Optimizer enables you to control optimization when specific events, units, or stow groups are encountered. You, you can transform the events. For example, you can transform SysAllDA to SysDA. You can also specify the action to take when a particular program is encountered. Here are the valid actions. Thank you for your time. For more information about MainView Batch Optimizer, see the related demos box on the right side of the web page. For more information about any BMC mainframe product, please visit the URL shown here.